not easy because there, if it's easy, everybody will become champion. That's why it's so special that it's only for some people. That's, that's the, the most beautiful thing, right? And then what, I'm, I'm uh, wondering, what dreams do you have? Do you have a goal time set in your head or anybody? Yes, that you dream? It's good. It's good to dream. Yeah, of course. But don't be scared. Okay? <laughs> you, you said you were scared before, you yeah. said, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, never be scared. You can be anxious, like excited, and a little bit nervous, and I'm sure it's too loud. Because you know what happened with me in the Olympics, semi final? If you don't uh, work hard enough yourself and you get insecure about other swimmers, which I was, this is what happened. Semi-final, 50 freestyle. You have to represent your country, right? So it's playing for, representing the Netherlands. And they said, Indian to Indian. And, uh, and all of a sudden I heard a big noise. You know this? I heard a big noise and it was like this. And I heard a spit. The girl next to me was an American. She spit in my lane, like this big of a green yellowish thing. At the Olympic Games. You don't expect this, yeah? So I was like, oh, what? what? And then in split seconds, you have to turn it off, you know, because it's a negative thing. And people want to intimidate you. So I switched that button immediately and I waited until the whistle went, so take your marks and go. Well, guess what? Guess what happened? This race. I'd be there in a world record. And in the Netherlands, there's a phrase you say, uh, no words but deeds. Do you understand? Do you understand what I mean? No words, but deeds. So no speaking, but showing. Same with the soccer players on the field. Don't speak, but make a goal. Something like that. And then, but the whole world was watching, so everybody had this on camera, that she's still in my lane. So NBC, one of the biggest TV stations in the United States, asked her, well, why, what was, what was that all about? Uh, and they said, Oh yeah, sometimes you do stupid stuff and eh. Uh, you know, she had no answer. <laughs> she lost all of her sponsorships. I get thousands of emails of American citizens that they are so ashamed of the fact that she spit in my lane. That they felt ashamed to be American. You can you can you, you don't get any better by intimidating others. You always have to go on your own capability. Train hard yourself, so it's not necessary to harm anybody else. That's why I say don't focus on your rifle. Sometimes I, I don't even realize or remember I was always lane four, fastest in the uh, uh, um, qualify. I didn't, I didn't even know who was next to me, lane five or lane three, because it, I didn't care. I only focused on myself. The focus should be on you. Why focus on them? It's extra energy. Don't bother. Yeah. And if you win or you lose, you hug each other. You know, because you be friendly always. All the, um, the, how do you say that, the compliments you go to the one who wins, yeah? Even though you think, yeah, yeah she, uh, I wanted to win. Of course, everybody wants to win. But never feel. Uh, too good to not say congratulations to the other one. It says a lot about yourself. You you can do that if, if you're a champion yourself already. 